Hey, nice to meet you. Um, you ready for the training today? Okay, perfect. I'm just locking in. Okay, so you just have to follow. So I'm just gonna basically tell you the steps. Okay, first on how to lock in. So you just have to remember your password, okay? So your password is 2306, okay? 2306, then do enter. So please don't forget, okay? You can just write it there, okay? So it's 2. have the option if you click here you have the option to just write it down here with this pen, electrical pen so you can just write it right here okay instead of writing it on the keyboard but it's really it's your choice so don't worry usually i like to do it with the keyboard but sometimes i don't really feel like doing it on the keyboard so you can just as i said just, you can just do it here you can just put your signature here with this electronic pen okay so don't worry about that once you're in the system first you'll I have to click there, so please just click there. And you have to enter the number. Okay, so the number is 55. It's always going to be 55, so please just don't forget that. Okay, so 5 five is the number. Okay, five. you can do it right here 55 or right here 55. Okay, 55. Five. Please don't forget. You can add yourself just a little note if you want with this 555. Five, five. Just please don't forget 55. Okay, all right, so next, just with that little arrow here, you go up, or you can just do this with the screen, okay? And then here, every time, every morning that you're going to try to log in, okay, you just have to enter the file number. The file number is never the same, so you just have to look on your screen, okay? You just go at the top here, you click there. Sometimes it may be at the bottom, so if it's at the bottom, you click there, but usually it's at the top, and you just need to click there. Right there. So then the file number is right there. You see it's a series of seven numbers. So okay, so a series of seven numbers. Seven, seven. Just please don't forget seven numbers, okay? Seven, seven. Okay, so just please don't forget it's always seven numbers. So they're never the same numbers, okay? So every moment it's a different series of numbers. You can enter them here and do enter, or you can enter it on the right side of your keyboard, okay? Then enter, okay. Then once it's done, you click okay. You click okay that you have already entered the file number, so click okay. And then they're going to ask you for another password, okay? That's really important. Please write this down. You can write little notes here, either on your screen or one, just please take a moment to take notes, okay? Alright, so now that your password, you have to always enter. So let me just see right here if I already have it. Oh, sorry, I just have an email just one second, okay? I just need to enter this, answer this quickly. Okay. Okay, sorry, I'll just put it right here. I just have to, sorry, I just had one email. I saw that I had one email. while I'm training you. Thank you. Okay. And when, just for future reference, when you send an email, you can just click on send right here, just on the screen, okay? You click send, send, send like this, or you can just do enter. Enter about three times. Enter. Three times. One, two, three. Three times. One, two, three. Okay, so either you click on the screen, click on the screen and it sends, or you just click on the enter button. Three times, one, two, three, okay? And the message will be sent. You have to enter, of course, the person that you want to send the message to. So you enter that, um, the email address, okay? At hotmail.com, okay? Then you enter. 
here and then you can also put the subject when you're entering email always the title okay so here you just have to enter the subject then you can put the date so 2020 it is june 8 19 today sorry <laughs> it's a little bit lost okay and you also also have the option if you want to do it on your screen instead of doing do it on the keyboard okay so you have actually the option you have to put it here with the little calendar, you can just select the date that you want. So you just, for example, would select today's day, so June 19, 2020, and then you would click enter, and then the, the date would just appear, okay? So you have two options, you have two, two options, okay? You can either enter it on the screen because it's touch, you know, as I told you earlier, it's touch, or you can enter it on your keyboard right here, like this with the numbers, 2020, June 19, okay? And then you enter, and it appears like and then once your email is done and you have composed everything, you just send it. So, sorry about that. That is like a little distracted, but it's okay because I showed you how to send an email. So that's actually good. So once you're logged in in the morning and you want to go into your account, okay, they're going to ask you, as I said, for the file number, which I told you, remember, it was on the top right of your screen. It's not there. If, you, if it's not there, you just look at the top, of the bottom right, okay? But it's usually at the top right, as I said earlier. So once that's done, you can actually go in the little timesheet, okay, that I showed you yesterday. You remember that? Okay. So you can either go with your, with your little arrow here and you can actually write timesheet enter and it should appear there. Or you can go search it actually on your desktop, okay? So you would have to be here, go there, there, and then click here timesheet, okay? So as I said, you can just write it here, enter, and it would appear. Okay, so you have two choices again, two, two choices. Sometimes I prefer to do it on the keyboard by the machine enter. Sometimes I just like to go under here and then here, here, and then here. And then you have the timesheet that appears in front of you, okay? If you want to enter a number of hours, just for example, if you're working overtime, okay? So you can add the number of hours that you worked. You can add it on the keyboard as well, or if you can do it with the electronic pen, okay? So you would click here, for example, and you would just write, for example, if you did five hours, so five, and then enter. Or you can do it here, five, enter. Okay, so you have two choices, actually, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, I have another email, okay? Just one second. I'm so sorry about this. read this quickly. I think it's a bit important. I'm sorry about that. Okay, I'll just answer quickly, okay? okay so I'm really sorry. It shouldn't take too long. Just sit comfortably, okay? Sorry about this. Once you're in your timesheet, if you want to check the past dates, okay, if you just want to check the past timesheet, like if you have a past, so you can do it just like this on the screen. It will actually go back because it's touch. Remember, I told you this earlier. Or you can use your little arrow, so your the arrow back points to your left, just to go in the back, okay? So instead of doing it like this, you can just go like this. So you can go like this, or you can go like this, either like this, or like this, or like this. It's the same thing if you want to see in the future. If you want to see your timesheet in the future, you would just go the other way. Okay? Like this. Then it would go in the future. Okay. Did you have any other questions just on what we just saw today? Yeah, okay. So I can send you an email, actually, with, with everything. Um, it's a little resume, if you want. 
little puppy. Okay, let me just take your email address. Okay. Okay, that's your email address. How do you spell that? Well, I will see you tomorrow and I will give you the rest of the training.